So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Call of the Wild the Angler video. Now this video is going to be a compilation of some diamond fish that I've caught in the past few days. Now I'm not going to talk the whole way through this video as I feel like it would be pretty repetitive. So a lot of the fish whilst I'm actually fighting them there's just going to be some nice music in the background. But I will stop in and talk sort of when we catch the, the trophy fish every now and again. Now I'm going to be starting off with a few golden trout diamonds that I actually managed to catch in the past couple of days. Now the golden trout diamonds do seem to be pretty common and I really wish they were a little bit more rare. This has been brought up to the devs and it may be something that gets changed. I really hope it's something that gets changed but there does seem to be quite a lot of big golden trout actually out and about on the map. So here you'll see I have a diamond one. This was my first diamond golden trout. I I was really really happy to catch this particular fish i think the golden trout are absolutely stunning probably the prettiest looking fish in the entire game really really gorgeous i think the model is incredibly well done and i was super super happy to catch this being my first diamond golden trout you guys may have seen in my previous video that this was basically the diamond i was really going after so super happy to finally actually manage to catch one and as you will see i did end up catching a few more as well now, like I said, these do seem to be one of the more common diamonds for the fish. A lot of the other ones are a lot harder to catch. And these guys, if you go to the right places, seem to be a little bit more common. But I was still really happy to catch the ones that I caught. So I'm definitely going to include those in this video. And then we'll move on and take a look at a couple of other species that I've managed to catch diamonds for as well. But before we get too much further into this video, I do just need to say a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in the early access for the angle it's been a lot of fun and I've been really enjoying myself and yeah just a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in this it's been a lot of fun but now on with the rest of the video
also a bit of a change from the diamond golden trout. This is my first ever sorger, ever. This is the first one I ever managed to catch and it was a diamond. Now, once again, the sorghum might have a very similar problem to the golden trout where they are a little bit more common because this was my first one ever and it was a diamond and I heard of a few other people catching a diamond as their first ever. In fact, I'm not sure if only diamond sized ones are spawning and smaller ones just aren't because these guys have been incredibly tough for me to actually find any of to catch and that's why it's taken me so long to actually catch one of these and then when i finally do end up catching a couple while well, they both ended up being diamonds both my first and second one were both diamonds and you'll get to see the second one as well and again i think that that might be unfortunate if that is how they are at the moment but they're just harder to find and then when you do find them they seem to be good size i'd like to see different sizes for them the same as with the other fish where you get the all the way from juveniles to bronze, silver, gold, and then all the way up to diamond. But yeah, I think that that's something that could be changed and improved and hopefully will be. And it is something that I have given feedback about. But still a really cool looking fish. And I was still happy to actually finally catch one of these guys. I had not caught one ever. So when I caught one and it was a diamond, I must admit I was really, really excited about it. And yes, they might be uh, maybe over spawning, but I was still happy to finally catch a sorga, honestly. I'd spent so long trying to find one of these fish. And I have to give a huge shout out to both Flinter and ProXDK, who both pointed me in the right directions in terms of tackle for these guys because honestly I spent so long searching different waterways trying different techniques trying different tackle and I just had no luck at all and I've still only caught two of these guys they do seem to be harder to find but like I said I wonder if that is just because only big ones are spawning and the other ones that should be there maybe aren't spawning correctly but then this is early access please do bear in mind that this is still in early access as I'm recording this so this is the time that we can give feedback on those kind of things and those kind of issues can be fixed but I still wanted to show you guys that I finally managed to catch a couple of these fish because it was one of the last two species I needed to catch. The last species I haven't caught a single one for is the bluegill, which actually really surprises me. That is the last fish that I need to catch one of to have at least one of every species of this reserve. And honestly, I think it's quite cool that it's taken me so long to actually just go and catch the different species in general. And hopefully it'll take a while to finally get trophies of each and every species. But here you're going to see my second ever sorga was also a diamond. Same exact setup. I literally went from one and then went a little bit further along this particular stretch of water and then ended up finding a second diamond. So like I said, maybe a little bit too common, but still a really cool looking fish. And I just really wanted to talk about the fact that I finally managed to catch a couple of these guys. They were one that really intrigued me, one that I actually hadn't heard of before. So yeah, definitely one that I was excited to try and catch. I'm really, really pleased I finally managed to, to catch a couple of them. The fact that they're both diamonds, like I said, that's a interesting but just happy to finally have caught a couple of examples of these guys.
now finally changing the pace to a species that is definitely, definitely hard to find diamonds of. Diamond Northern Pike. Now, you guys may have heard me mention in previous videos that this was one of the diamonds that I wanted the most off this reserve. Because we have pike here in the UK, that's a species that I think is really, really cool. And, you know, I've seen some big pike in real life. And as soon as I saw that there were Northern Pike on this map, it was just one of the species I was most drawn to. And I came over to this little pond actually to try and catch some perch. And I saw these big pike that were in the water and I thought, okay, let's have a go and see if I can catch one. The biggest I had caught up until this point were just decent sized golds. And I knew as soon as I hooked into this one that it was something pretty special just because of the amount of fight that it put up. That was so incredibly cool to me. And oh, I'm just so, so pleased I managed to catch a diamond for these guys. They look incredible. And I love the pose that you hold them in as well. It's a shame that there's a little bit of clipping with the one hand there on the character just slightly going through the fish. But just an incredible looking specimen. These guys are really, really cool. They're, they're cool in real life. They're cool to have in game. And that fight was really just awesome. It felt so cool to actually have a fish that was really, really fighting me. And I hope we see more of that in the future. Because, you know, just pulling a fish in like the, the golden trout or the sorga. Yeah, it's cool to catch the diamonds of them, but when you you get something like this where it really puts up a fight and you're seeing it jumping around and pulling the line out and you're really having to work against it, I think that that's so extremely cool and I just want to see more big species like this in future that are really going to fight. I hope in the future we see things like tigerfish, arapaima, I want to see wells catfish in this game. You know, some really big stuff that... Maybe it takes half an hour to an hour to fight and pull in, but when you pull it in, it, it's a big trophy. And I think that would be super cool, and that just reinforced it in my mind when I had this fight with this pike, that that's what I really want to see from this game, is more fish that put up a really good fight. Because at the end of the day, that's, to me, that's what makes it fun, is seeing a fish really fighting like that, really having to work for, for a trophy like this, that's what makes it cool to me, and I was so so excited to finally get myself a diamond pike.
So, yeah, I didn't end up just catching one Diamond Northern Pike from this particular little pond. I ended up catching two. And I can say that this isn't a, a diamond that is over spawning or anything like that. These ones are genuinely hard to find and hard to catch. And to get two back to back with is just something I completely did not expect. I have been trying to catch big ones for the Northern Pike for quite a while. The best I had actually caught was golds. And I came to like, came to the spot, like I said, to look for perch. And I ended up catching two Diamond Pike back to back, which was a seriously, seriously cool experience. And as you'll see, the second one gave just as good a fight and a good a show as that first one did, which I think was really cool. And hopefully it translated quite well with the footage and you guys will have uh, enjoyed seeing them actually really putting up a fight and jumping out of the water and all that. Because I really enjoyed seeing that and it made it a lot cooler for me than just pulling a fish out of the water like I did with the golden trout. And yeah, just so, so happy to, to catch one and then to catch a second one. I couldn't really believe what was happening. It's the same as in the Hunter Call of the Wild when you find two diamonds in the same herd or two diamonds back to back. It's always an exciting feeling and it was the same in, in this. And... You know, there are there are aspects where this game needs improvement and I'm not going to shy away from saying that and talking about it. But catching diamonds, especially of these big species that put up such a good fight, it is really fun. I have to admit it. I didn't have the best impressions of this game when I first picked it up. But the more I actually get into catching the different species of fish and especially the diamonds, the more I have come to enjoy it. And the biggest trophy is still yet to come.
So I had a good feeling that this lake trout was going to be pretty big as soon as I hooked into it. And just for the length of time where I could not get any give with that line and I couldn't actually reel any line in. And even with the drag so high, it was really putting up a fight. And I knew that even with this gear, a gold one of these guys, I could reel it in fairly easily. You know, they'd put up a bit of a fight, but it wasn't too much of a struggle. But, you know, this is the strongest gear that I could possibly have to catch this fish. That's the strongest reel, the strongest line, and the strongest rod. And I knew that, you know, with it putting up a fight like it was underneath the water, and the way it was bending the rod, that that had to be a serious fish. And I actually, I think I mentioned it to Flint and said... I've just hooked into what I think is a possible monster lake trout. It's fighting more than the golds. It's, you know, coming to points where it's at basically like a standstill where my line is just locked, basically. I can't pull any in and he's trying to pull it out. And it was just a really cool experience again. Now, it was a different experience to catching the pike because obviously with the pike, you could see them on the surface. They were thrashing about, jumping, and they put on a bit of a show. Whereas with this, it was just dragging it up heaving it up from from underneath and not knowing exactly what i'd hooked into because i've had times where i've been hooked into to golds for these guys and thought damn that must be a pretty big fish and then it would just be a gold but look at the sheer size of a diamond lake trout and by all accounts from what i've heard this is a pretty big diamond lake trout too with the weight and length it's got so yeah i'm pretty darn stoked about this this is the biggest fish species in the game at the minute and so now i can say i've caught a diamond of the biggest species in the game and i i really really wanted one of these i've kind of been you know just drawn to them basically since i saw how big they were because i'd never heard of lake trout before and i you know i thought they were probably going to be similar to rainbow trout golden trout sort of size somewhere around there now these things are huge <laughs> And as soon as I actually saw it was actually Flinter on stream catching them, I was like, oh, okay, that uh, that I'm interested in. I like the big fish. I like the ones that are going to make you really work to get trophies of them. And I've caught a lot of these at this point, trying to find a diamond one. Several, several hours of just catching bronze, silver and golds. Really always hoping to, to hook into one of these. And then finally I did and it was just so so cool no sort of having the idea that oh that's a big fish just based off of how everything's going how the fight is going and not being able to see it i think that was a really cool aspect and having to learn how to jig as well because i didn't have any idea when i started what jigging actually was as a technique i didn't really know how to do it or anything and again shout out to to flinter who kind of taught me what i had to do in that respect but I got there, I started practicing it, started catching more and more of these things and eventually managed to catch a diamond. And I'm really, really happy with this because I feel like in the short time that we've had to play in early access, I feel like I have actually increased my skill with fishing and I know a little bit more. And I really like that. I feel that it's fun to learn in games um, like this, or at least it is for me to learn the different mechanics, learn what you need to do to catch the big ones. And there was nothing more satisfying than bringing this absolute beast up from the bottom of this lake. Such a cool experience. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. A little bit of a different one. Uh, I didn't really know how I was going to do the videos for the for the trophy fish in this game, as I think it's important to show off the fight, because if you're just showing the last few seconds of you actually reeling them in, I feel like it doesn't really show what it's all about. So hopefully this has been uh, an okay way of showing how it all went, and you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think of all of this. Um, the two pike and, of course, this beautiful huge lake trout are, of course, the highlights of this video for me. And yeah, I'm just absolutely stoked. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for all your support. As always, it really does mean the world and I absolutely love reading through your comments. You guys are amazing. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.